this is an adapter and this is a hard drive and when you look closely their pins are the same that of course means we must get this into a computer and I've got the perfect candidate well it's, it's not like the perfect candidate but um, it's uh, one that uh, most certainly will be interesting to see if it works so this is an old IBM ThinkPad and it has a just standard IDE hard drive and this is a four gigabyte SD card and an IDE to SD adapter. Now, what I will try is to replace the hard drive with the SD. So it is solid state. And of course, I will try to run Windows on it. However, I'm not sure if it's really gonna boot from the SD card. I have absolutely no idea if you know Windows likes it, especially like Windows 98, that's what I'm gonna try. And yeah, so it's gonna be a little interesting project here, guys. I finally managed to get the hard drive out. <clears throat> that was actually quite a hard task because it had this thing strapped to it. Um, that needs to go on the adapter as well. Don't really know what that is. That's SCSI? I don't know. But anyway, it was stuck in there because uh, this thing, which is supposed to hold it, was not attached. Or it's missing a caddy, or I don't really know what happened there. But it uh, just was hard to get out and to jam a screwdriver in there and you know pull it out so it's gonna be interesting if I can actually get it in there uh, meaning the adapter that's gonna be uh, a little fun here is the SD and I formatted it into FAT32 so Windows 98 hopefully won't bitch around, not recognizing it or sorta. So, let's uh, put it in the card reader or the adapter or whatever it is. Good. Let's try to install it in there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there it is installed that was some work basically I have to do it this way drop it in there and then fiddle around with the screwdriver under here so I can get it up a bit and then pushing it in to the connector and it's kind of floating around in there which is not good but what can you do this is how it's supposed to be it, this is you know uh, it is hooked up though so I'm hoping I'm just hoping that this this works because I have no idea how I can get this out uh, maybe with pliers or something but just I hope it just works okay we're ready to try it out so let's plug it in see if it uh, recognizes it in the BIOS, I have no idea. And then Windows 98 time. And what do I have to press? I have no idea. Escape. F F1, okay. So let's see. Beeping sound shocking me a bit. We got a HDD. Oh, yes! Haha, -ha. you can't believe how happy I am. It says here hard disk drive 3781 megs. 
Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Pretty darn cool. Now that we got that, we put in the Windows 98 CD, which is, as you can see, um, legit. I've never used it though, so this is the first. Okay, so startup configuration, first boot sequence, floppy, yeah, that's, that's fine. I mean, if this had a floppy, then... <laughs> <coughs> Then it would boot. Oh, front CD ROM starten. This means start from CD ROM. Who oh, could have guessed that? Windows 98 setup from CD ROM. Yeah. Good. Okay. And there's still one thing that I'm a little afraid of and that it's not gonna boot. However, I have maybe a fix for that too. So, yeah. Let's install Windows. Computer will be scanned or whatever that is. <laughs> well, it should have plenty of free space for Windows 98 with four gigabytes. With like regular, regular hard drive size in the 90s. Late 90s. Okay. Click next. This screen is just so terrible. It's got to be the worst screen that I have. Like 800 by 600 color matrix display. Not really the greatest. I mean, it's still working. It's giving up here a bit. But, uh, still working. Okay. We'll do a custom install, of course. Because we want to have everything. We have desktop, desktop wallpapers and stuff. and. Well, we don't need that, and we don't need... Well, that's everything already? Okay, that isn't really all that much. <sighs> okay. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's fine for me. 295 megabytes it needs. Well, we don't even need that. That's... Or should we? You know what, fuck it. I'm gonna install everything. It's not like I... I need so much space on this. description is Windows 98 PC. It's kind of cool because this is my Windows 98 PC. Yes! German keyboard. It's fine. Actually, we live in Austria, but I'm not sure if if this is important. I mean, I'm gonna check it anyway. Maybe the key doesn't work if I have Germany checked. Okay, so... Here it is. Now we just have to wait. We are rebooting for the first time. Okay. Now we'll do it from our drive. Windows 98. It's looking good, looking good. Okay. 
Wow, on camera you can really see how the screen is giving up a bit in the edges. <laughs> it's actually not so bad in person. I mean, it's bad, but it's not terrible. And I don't complain, this is a, a computer that's like almost as old as me, so yeah. Okay, let's enter the name. And we'll accept, of course. And uh, the key, of course. The key has worked. Good. So let's see how Windows 98 handles the drivers because this old ThinkPad is made for Windows 98. So it could be that a lot of stuff will work out of the box. A lot of stuff probably won't, but that is of course fixable with a little online search, which I really don't want to do, but I think there's no way around it. So I just clicked a couple of times continue. Don't really read what it said, but it said something with drivers. Hmm. Okay. I have really no idea what I just did. <laughs> but I can hear it almost but you can't hear it it's so silent with this SD card now the fan kicked in a bit but it's really nothing in here here you see it working so pretty cool pretty cool stuff Let's see what we got. Still at this screen, all right, okay. I just had to enter the time right now. And now it is configuring, doing something with system preferences. Ha, <laughs> this, this drum here, I remember in school we used to set the mouse cursor to such an animated thing. I always had a horse. <laughs> it was very inconvenient actually, but yeah. And another reboot. Windows operating systems always had the weird habit of rebooting a million times before you actually get to the screen. Okay, I will not set a password. And another device was found. And a monitor was found, okay. That's good. And some more is being updated. <laughs> now please show me a desktop already. Yes, here we go. Welcome to Windows 98. Hooray. Pretty darn cool. So, we'll set the screen a bit down so you can actually see something or at least not get eye cancer every time. So let's go into the device manager. Windows, 
This is Windows uh, 98 second edition and it, here it says in German zweite Ausgabe. It's looking very weird. Okay, we got uh, nothing as expected, you know. Um, no graphics driver installed, nothing. We have even a, a wallpaper that does not look good. It's so boring. Well, I will go with this. Oh, wow. Beautiful. <laughs> All blue. <laughs> okay. So this is... Oh, it's running at 640 by 480. I see. It's, it's even even bigger than 800 by 600. Okay. All right. So here you see Windows 98 running on a SD card. Pretty darn cool. So let's see how long it takes to boot. Should be fairly quick. Okay, so that was a pretty fast boot. Of course, it's missing some drivers and uh, some programs actually to make it useful, but still, here is our Windows 98 and it's working. And the computer is very silent. So, you can see here is the hard disk, drive C. Pretty nice. Yes. <laughs> Good. So thank you for watching and I hope you liked it. Just need to put this back on. Yeah. There we go. Nobody will ever know that it's there.